Chess friends, Viswanathan Anand is a number one chess grandmaster, and Garry Kasparov was a legendary chess player on his time. He beated Carlsen in 2008, Mikhail Tal and Hikaru Nakamura on his recent games. This game is very interesting because Kasparov sacrificed his two pieces. I will cover them. Kasparov starts with d4. You can play knight f6, e6 or d5. Arnon played knight f6. c6, e6, knight c3, bishop e4, knight f3, d5, c takes d5, e takes d5, bishop f4, c6. In this position, you can play a3, targeting the bishop, c6 or queen b3. But Kasparov played queen c2, not bad. g6, Arnand can play knight e4, creating pressure on this knight, bishop f5 and castle. Also you have this secret move, queen a5, pressing on this knight. So, e3, bishop f5, queen b3, queen b6, knight h4, bishop e6. You might think black can play bishop e5 to make a tactical plan, but it's not so easy because of knight d7, targeting the bishop. So, we have bishop d3. Knight h5, bishop e5, castle. Kasparov played g4, because he is a stockfish subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, subscribe the channel with a beautiful like and comment. His strategy is, if black plays bishop takes pawn, then rook here to get active on g-file, Knight and bishop is targeting the g6 pawn, white will play queen c2 to target the pawn potentially. Vichy says, all right, do your best. We have, rook g1, bishop e6, queen c2, knight d7. I want you guys, pause the video and find the best move for Kasparov, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if you think bishop takes g6, then congratulation, you are correct. We have f takes g6, black wants to eliminate this powerful bishop. And white just wants a disrespectful checkmate, queen takes pawn. Game will be over. So, Kasparov played knight takes g6, sacrificing a another piece. h takes knight is not possible, because of this, there is mate in two actually. And you can't save your rook, for example, rook here. Then knight f4, it's a check, so, king f8, queen takes h7. Threatening mate in 1, if you take the knight then queen g7 will be mate. Position will be worst for Arnand. So, he played knight takes e5 first. You can't take the knight. Then knight g7, everything is protected by everybody, white will lose all his advantages. So, Kasparov played knight takes f8, king takes f8, d takes e5, queen c7, f4, inaccurate move, best move was a3, so, queen f7, castle, bishop f5, queen b3. Again I want you guys, pause the video and try to make a plan for Arnand, how can Arnand get positional advantages, make a plan, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, if you find a5, then you are correct it is the best move, because black have very good diagonal for his bishop and black will push his pawns potentially, and bring out your knight, because knight is a tactical piece in a closed position, end game and a blitz game. So knight e2, Arnand played knight g4, inaccuracy, best move was queen e7. Kasparov played knight d4, mistake, best move was knight g3. Bishop c5, it's a mistake. Because of rook takes g7, but Kasparov didn't find that move, he played rook g3. Let me show the variation, if rook takes g7 would happen, king takes g7, knight takes f5 check, queen takes f5, queen takes b7, forking the king and rook. We will get this position where black have queen and bishop versus queen and rook. Don't trust on evaluation bar, if your opponent is a human or dinosaur, then you have some winning chances with white pieces. But Kasparov missed rook takes g7, b7, 
because he had very low time. Bishop takes d4, e takes d4. And in this position, Kasparov resigned, India wins. Let me put your brain power improving piano music, sorry for yesterday, I played from each side, don't go back, let's see how the game will be end. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.